welcome back to my channel you guys i do have a fun and different video so you guys know a month ago i did go ahead and do the following a jackie anna tutorial which i had so much fun doing um but for this video i want to go ahead and do something a little bit different so for different parts of my face i'm gonna go ahead and pick a different youtuber all right so for foundation i'm gonna pick a youtuber eyeshadow different youtuber and so on i think this is such a fun and different idea i don't know if it's been done already but if it has please give them credit down below because i honestly don't know so i don't want to talk too much you guys want to stick around and see how it turns out then go ahead and keep on watching all right so starting with foundation i did go ahead and pick manny mua so let's go ahead and see what he says making your skin not looking so cakey not so heavy you want to make sure that your skin is very very moisturized because you don't want to pick up on any dry patches because that's a big tell of the fact that you're wearing a lot of foundation is when it picks up on a dry patch so make sure your skin is moisturized and primed i'm moisturized already i'm going to use a primer i'm going to use a silicone based primer because it makes it for a lot better of a slip i'm going to take the benefit professional for example all right so he is using the benefit professional which i do have the mini version right here i actually do like this for my pores because it really does fill them in because y'all know i have lot of pores so I'm gonna put them right here just like he's doing and a little bit on my nose too when using a pore filling primer it works so 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 well at making sure you get the most smooth and flat surface as possible on the face you want to really make sure that you work some type of silicone base just an extra step that I like to do just to ensure moisturization I'm gonna take the Smashbox photo finish primer water spray those spritz on the face not only are we locking in that silicone base primer, but we're gonna go ahead and add a lot of moisture and just awakeness to the skin and really just kind of like pow. Think of it as like you're chewing gum and it's like that burst of like, <sighs> it's like that for your face, I think. Just so we're gonna let that settle into the skin real quick. This is an excessive part of my routine. I like to use a couple of foundations. I like to use between three and four foundations with my entire face. I know that's so fucking crazy and you do not. He said three to four foundations. We're not about to do that. I do have two that I use on the regular, but three to four, that's a lot. So for example, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible in the T-zone, specifically on my nose and a little bit on my forehead. And then I'm gonna go in with different foundations for different reasons. All right, so that's all I'm basically gonna go ahead and watch from him. So for my face, I always use a Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade Warm Coconut. And for my nose, because this area of my nose is just really dry and oily throughout the day. It's dry, but it's oily at the same time. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, I always go ahead and use my Essay Lauder Double Wear right here. So let me go ahead and apply it. I'm gonna try to refrain from singing her song because y'all know Jackie, 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 Jackie. Y'all know I love Jackie, so let me see what she has to say. And if you don't know why I let my concealer dry before I blend it out and you're new here, and it's okay, there's a lot of things I do that most people don't do. Um, I do this for more coverage and it just, you know, once you go right in with the sponge, it kind of like waters it down and shears it out. When you wanna really maximize that coverage, let it dry down a little bit. Okay. Okay, so for concealer, she does say if you go ahead and apply it on your face, let it dry down a little bit. So for today, I'm going to go ahead and use my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C13. Alright, so while that's drying on my face, I'm going to go ahead and move on to Carly Bible. She's doing her contour and highlight how-to video, so let's see what she has to say. I'm going to go ahead and use my Fenty Beauty Contour Stick in the shade Espresso. When I'm doing like a full glam, full dramatic look, I always like to cream contour and then use a powder contour over. I just feel like it stays longer and it looks less blotchy, so I like to apply a little bit on my cheeks. Again, with this product, it's super, super lightweight and pigmented, so a little bit really does go a long way. So I apply a little bit around my forehead. I have a nice big forehead, so I like to apply it all around. And then I'll apply the light just like right here, that way I'm not making it look bigger. If you guys have a smaller forehead, you can either skip this step or just maybe apply like right along your hairline and then you don't need much more than that. I also like to contour right below my jawline again to help extend it a little bit more if you have a larger jaw or a larger chin and you want to make it look smaller just bring this line up so everything carly said i usually do but the only thing i never do is the jaw right here um so that's a little bit different we'll see how that turns out um but let me go ahead and blend it out with my sponge So 
So let me go ahead and quickly blend the concealer out because I feel like it's drying up on me. Um, let's see if it even moves at all. Yeah, it's still moving, so we're good. We're good. So I will definitely say it does give a lot, a lot of coverage because honestly, whenever I go ahead and apply my concealer and blend it right away, it just completely disappears. Um, but with this, I can definitely tell it's covering up my dark circles. Everything looks really good. So I do like this idea. All right, so the skin is looking really good. I'm really happy about that. So for setting the under eyes, I went ahead and picked Alyssa Ashley. Um, her face always looks so good and so flawless, so I knew she would have the best tips for that part of the face. Um, but let me see what she has Before to say. Before I go and work on setting, I like to make sure that any creasing under here, it's a little bit, but there's still some there. Because if you do not blend out those creasing before you set your under eye, you're setting creasing. So once I have that initial layer on, if I have to, I will go back. So for her technique, she goes ahead and dips her sponge into the powder and then she blows it to get rid of all the excess powder. Then she presses it into her skin. I like to push this powder into where my eye could potentially crease up to make sure that my whole under eye is nice and set and I will not have creasing issues. So moving on to face powder, you already know. I had to go to Patrick Star because if you don't know, he usually takes like a big puff or a sponge and puts a lot of powder on the face to set his whole entire face. So I have to go ahead and try this because I've never done it before. I want to see if it works because I'm really, really oily. So let's see what he has to say. I'm just going to take this and really press it on my cheeks. That way, again, something so micronized will give me that smooth effect. And the reason why I'm pressing powder, a lot of people ask me, why do you bake? Why do you like put that on? It's really going to ensure the longevity. And let me tell you, bitch, you can go swimming with this. So to set my whole entire face, I'm going to go ahead and use the same powder for my under eyes that I use. And this is the AC Cosmetics Bacon Powder. This one right here I love so much. So using my sponge, I'm going to go ahead and do exactly what he's doing. So hopefully this looks good because I'm low-key scared. Yes! It is not moving. All right, so now that I look like Casper, I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit on my face for 10 minutes or so, and then I'll be right back. All right, so let's go ahead and remove all this powder on the face. For my face, I'm gonna go ahead and use a big fluffy brush, and for my under eyes, I'm using my e.l.f. blush brush. So looking closely at my face, it doesn't look cakey whatsoever because I thought putting all that powder on, I would look really cakey, but I don't. Um, but moving on to bronzer, I didn't find anything for bronzer. I mean, just go ahead and put it on your face. Um, so for today, I'm gonna go ahead and use my NARS Gianna Contour Blush. Eyeshadow, I want to go ahead and use Daisy Marquise because she came up with this idea of going ahead and applying concealer on your eye but not setting it. And when I first heard that, I was like, how are you going to go ahead and apply eyeshadow on top of concealer? Like, how does that work? But one thing I will say is when I saw her end result of her eyeshadow, it actually looked really, really good. So I'm excited to go ahead and try this out. Um, but let's go ahead and see what she says. Got a beauty hack that has been just making my life a lot easier. My makeup looks better, more vibrant, more colorful, just better, okay? So, in this eye, I did not use translucent, oh, well there, I forgot what an S sounds like. I did not use translucent powder on this eye. I only put concealer, I went in with the shadow, and then for this eye, I put concealer, translucent powder, and then went in with shadow, which is what I used to do, which I really, really regret, and I wish somebody would have made a video like this and told me, Daisy, stop setting your concealer with translucent powder. You are doing it, well, it's, I'm not doing it wrong, but like, it's just, it's better, okay? You guys will see throughout the video what I'm talking about. So yeah, if you want to see if this beauty hack works for you, then please keep on watching and do not forget. Both look pretty matte, if I would say, because this one does not look shiny or oily at all. That's what I like about the Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm just going to pick up my 35B. But for the video, she did go ahead and use a Tarte Shape Tape concealer. Her concealer is a little bit lighter, so I feel like the colors will show up a little bit more. But for me, I don't know how it's gonna work on my eyes because my is a whole lot darker. Um, but I'm using the shade Deep. So honestly, Let's see, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it right on my eyes and just blend it out.
All right, so for the eyes today, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Dose of Color Sassy Sienna's palette. And I'm gonna use the shade, let's see what the name is, Foxy right here. It's like a mid-tone brown. And I'm gonna use my Morphe G17 brush. It's a really big, fluffy brush. So I'm really excited to see if this works because if it does work, I will use this tip all the time. But I'm just so used to setting my eyelids that I don't know how it's gonna go. So let's just see if it works. So the color actually blended out really well, so, so far, so good. Um, but moving on to the Big Browns palette, I'm gonna take the shade Rock Bottom right here. Let me show y'all. This is what it looks like right here, like a dark brown. Dab a little bit of that on my brush and just put that in the outer corners on my eye. Alright, so for the lid, I'm going to go ahead and take the Desi Times Katie Dose of Colors palette in the shade Noli. It's like a nice bronzy shade right here. Let's see what brush I want to use. I'm going to use the brush that comes in the palette. So because my eyes are watering right now because of my allergies, I'm not gonna go ahead and apply false lashes, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Maybelline Pump Up Colossal Mascara. This is one of my favorite. So let me go ahead and apply that on my eyes. So to finish up the face, I'm going to go ahead and move on to blush and highlight. And this is coming from Jaclyn Hill. I feel like these two tips that she gave were a little bit different than what's out there. So let me go ahead and play it. I'm obsessed with the shade. I'm going to be applying my blush today with a fan brush, which I know is kind of weird. But I actually learned this tip from Nicole, who is known as Lipstick Nick. I actually had the pleasure of being her model when she did her master class here in Orlando, Florida. I had to think. I was like, where was she? In Orlando, Florida. Um, I was her model that day, and I learned a few things as she was talking and teaching the class. I was like, oh, yes. And she applied my blush with this brush right here. So any fan brush I'm sure will do, but this is the Morphe. M310 in case you're curious and she was saying that the reason why is because she thinks it just applies it so natural and beautifully and it's hard to go overboard and I was kind of like okay okay and then I went home tried it myself and now for the past week it's the only way that I've been applying my blush because right, so I already went ahead and applied a little bit of blush onto the brush right here and the blush I did use was a format blush from MAC. I just think I said blush and brush like five million times. Um, but I've been using this trick for a little bit now and it's one of the best I have tried. I really do like it. So I go ahead and dip the brush into the blush and then apply it on my face. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to highlighter and see what she has to say. I'm gonna go in with the NARS highlighting and bronzing palette right here. I'm gonna pick up the first two shades in the palette using the same damp beauty sponge again. All right, so the highlighter I'm using today is the Lorac Tantalizer. Y'all know this is my favorite. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my beauty blender right here. Um, but let's see what it looks like on the face. Oh wow, it gives a lot of pigment. But obviously you can tell it's just sitting on my face right here, but I will blend it out. The highlight is going to look like this sitting on the sponge. And then again, I always tap off a little bit of the excess so it doesn't go on too intense. And then I'm going to just dab that and pounce that into the skin. So that's the whole look right here. It turned out really good. If I was to go ahead and pick my two favorites out of the whole um, tutorial, I will say maybe the eyeshadow trick because that one really did work and also the blush trick. I really did like that because it always looks good on my skin. So those are my two favorites, but I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out, but I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one.